everyone, welcome back to the Studio Katya YouTube channel. It's Erica back with another card using the Sunshine of Hope stamp set. This time uh, I am going to be using Karin markers, so I have stamped it up on watercolor paper. So I've used the smooth side to make sure that I get a good impression with my ink. So these are the Karin markers that I picked out. So I picked out some pale yellows to kind of uh, more orangey yellow, some browns for the middle and some greens for the stem and the leaves. So uh, for this card, I'm actually going to just kind of slap on the color to get that really vivid look. And just please bear in mind that I'm still kind of getting to grips with the card marker. So I am by no means a pro at this. I am just kind of playing around and seeing what works for me. What I have done is I've um, used them with water before to kind of get a little bit more of a softer look. So uh, this time I wanted to go kind of like kapow, color. And if the card markers are anything, they are vivid with a capital V for sure. So. Here, what I've done is I've gone in with my lightest color. I do believe this one might be almond. So just to add a little bit of sort of light at the end of the petals, kind of like where I would picture that the light would hit. And then we, uh, we're we going to do this on all of the petals. So every single one is going to get that light touch of um, pale, pale, pale yellow. And then we are going to go with our um, uh, darkest, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the top and then we're gonna hop into the middle of or the base of the petals and we're gonna go almost all the way up towards that sort of light yellow. And um, this this is where the not super, you know, confident with the, uh, the markers came in. I was kind of just playing around to see what would work and what wouldn't. So I thought, okay, light color first, dark at the middle, and then blend with the middle color. And uh, whilst I do end up liking the end result, uh, at this point I was thinking, ooh, maybe I made a mistake here. But with coloring, especially water coloring, it is important to remember that the color as you put it down, it doesn't necessarily stay exactly that way. You have to let it dry to see the full effect. Now, the upside with the current markers, I've noticed anyway, is that it's almost true to color when you put the color down as to when it dries. There is only like a slight, slight sort of, not fading, but kind of settling. Whereas with some of my other watercolors, it's the color that goes on. It's not necessarily the shade of color that's gonna stay that way the whole time. But um, so what I'm doing here is basically adding a little bit of light color at the, the tip of the petals and then dark at the bottom and then we're gonna blend those two together. So at the moment you can see that it's not sort of very, it's not a huge difference between the the, uh, the tip and the, the top of the petals, but I do end up working on this for, for quite a while and I didn't actually include all of the footage in the video because I don't want you to have to sit here and watch me all day while I'm playing with these markers to see what actually works and what doesn't. So we have, um, or I say we, I've sped this up a little bit just so that you kind of get the, the gist of, of my process basically. But I think it's important to remember as well that when it comes to a new medium, it's really, really important that you play with it to kind of get to grips with it. Because I have noticed as well as when, I, when I'm when i in my copy coloring uh, phase and then I move over to like current markers or watercolor, it, it takes a little bit of time. There's a little bit of an adjustment period there. So don't lose hope if you're not getting the results that you want right away, especially when switching between mediums. But it's all good and fun. Coloring and creating is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to feed your creative soul. So make sure you stick with it. And like I said, especially with watercoloring and you know markers like this, because you can always rescue it. You really can. You can almost always rescue it. I have had very few watercolor pieces that have actually ended up in the trash. So like I said, just sometimes you just need to put it aside give it a minute and come back with fresh eyes a day or two later, maybe even a week, you never know. So don't give up. And here, uh, what I've done with my uh, with my stems and my leaves is that I've gone in with the, the lighter color and then I've added darker colors to just kind of bring in a little bit of life and dimension to the leaves so they don't look flat. 
because that's that's the least thing you want. And it, I um, you might have noticed here as well, like this is where I'm doing a little bit of like the contouring work. So I done the middle with the brown markers, and then I dragged a little bit of that up with my darkest yellow just to create a little bit more depth and dimension. And um, again, we're going back in here with the, the darker green to add more kind of dimension and stuff. So don't be afraid to, you know, experiment with that as well. And uh, we're just gonna put the finishing touches here and then we're gonna set this aside to dry. Now, unfortunately, I have a habit of doing this. I didn't film what I did next, but I will show you. So bear with me. And uh, uh, as this was drying, I was going through my Studio Katya stash and I decided to use the Darling ribbon and frames set. So this has a um, A2 uh, sort of stitch rectangle piece. It has a lovely kind of little uh, shaped middle. And then what I've done is I've added, I've used the shaped middle thing to add texture. And then I've used a uh, happy birthday sentiment from the Daisy Bunch stamp set. So these are the two pieces. So you can see I've cut out a frame using the black and he has that lovely stitched detail as well. So you get like not just a plain frame, but a little bit of detail there as well. And it just elevates your card design a little bit, I think. Sorry about the flickering. I am having pro problems with my lights, but I thought the last detail to do was to add a little ribbon because you know, it's a birthday card. So let's, let's make happy, right? So I decided to um, add the black little ribbon to kind of like frame the happy birthday. And that was basically the card done. Now don't remember, uh, don't forget that 100% of net profits from the Hope collection sold in the Studio Katya shop all throughout May 2022 will go to Save the Children organization. So they are on the ground helping with the situation in Ukraine along with other charities, you know, with all the atrocities over there. So. If you can, please do go ahead and support um, Ukraine by shopping this release. There's everything you can search for the Hope collection in the shop and it will take you to all of the products that are in this category. And there's quite a few nice things as well that you can pick up. And um, for, uh, for this set, unfortunately, uh, I think this one is on reserve at the moment, but hit that reserve button. And there's also a coordinating die cut. So make sure you hit the notification button for that as well. But that is it for me for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you soon again. Bye for now.